Exciting. Now, he stars as Neil Caffrey on the TV drama White Collar. In his latest project, he delivers a career-changing performance. It really is. In HBO's The Normal Heart, please welcome Matt Bomer. <laughs> And he looks at me and he goes, he goes, I'm not gonna lie, he's a good looking guy. <laughs> I can't lie, he's a good looking guy. What can I say? Smoke and mirrors. No, it's not smoke or mirrors. <laughs> it's all that's you. Oh, um, very I kind. wanna congratulate you on last night. You oh, must be so proud. You. I uh, was so proud of you. You know, to get to be a part of a project like this that hopefully has some social significance, you just check your ego at the door and try to commit to telling the story and to get to be there last night and see Larry Kramer have a moment that was 30 years in the making mm -hmm. to see this turn into a film was just amazing for me. And yeah, you, you got, and it, I can't wait to see it. I mean, I, I really can't wait Thank to you. see it. And uh, But I do watch you also on White Collar. Oh yes. And you, you, and you guys are starting to film your final season next month here in New we York. We do. So you're you're going to miss it. The summer. We film in the summer. Listen, why not wear a three-piece wool suit <laughs> in July? Why and not? by the way, don't sweat right. because it's your close-up. That's right, right. Don't exactly. Sweat. Why do they do the close-up after they do the coverage? Why is that? I don't know. I think they want you to help you, you know, hone your performance and, and whittle it down so that by the time they're here. Right. You know, you kind of know what you're doing. Oh, I get it. And um, between now and when White Collar <laughs> starts filming, your your son's gonna have his ninth birthday. That's correct. So you have a big party planned. You have a theme party. What's oh, going to yeah. happen? It's laser tag. Oh, oh my gosh, as a best party. It is laser tag, which is really my party too. Yeah. Selfishly, because <laughs> right. I'm gonna be in it. I'll probably wear camo. Right. I will probably tumble. <laughs> Once or twice, I hopefully won't knock anyone over, but I, I'm in it to win it. Kids, kids love to shoot each other with laser tag. Guns. They do. It is really nuts. Yeah, I'm excited to see the the look on his face when you know he's in the middle of it. We did it once when we were visiting my family in Texas, and he just had the best time. Well, so. I'm laughing at you, Tom, but I'm not. I'm gonna tumble. Hopefully, I'll knock anybody over. But you want to win? You're gonna be like, Ooh, I can win, kid. <laughs> <laughs> hey, speaking of Texas, I know you grew up there, yeah. and I'm thinking about you. You know, last night you're at the Zigfield Theater, there yeah. you are. Um, it, it was like emotional for me. Uh, did you have like a, a, a teacher? Because we're celebrating teachers all yes. this week. Did you have like a theater teacher or somebody that like impacted you in some way? I had an amazing woman named Marla Crow um, who taught an elective called Theater Arts. <sighs> Who really just helped me to, you know, it was like my therapy. She got me up on stage and, and was always there to listen to me and, and stay after school if need be. And um, she was just an incredible inspiration for me. She's since passed, but um, I love her and she's always close to my heart for sure. Wow. Yeah. Like a claim to fame. I can claim the same, and Matt went to the same school that my 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 oldest son and daughter graduated. Bearcats. Yeah. Oh, no yeah. kidding! Bearcats, yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh, small world. And um, you know something, I think everybody um, you know, is, uh, is looking forward to the sequel to Magic Mike. Mm. Oh yes. Yeah. Are you ready, man? Are you going to reprise your role? How could I be ready for that? <laughs> um, listen, I, those guys are so great. We have so much fun together. And, you know, they brought me to the party when nobody else did. So I'm happy to be there in, in whatever capacity they'll have me. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> it's going to be fun. <laughs> well, actually, there were screams in the audience. Oh, I heard. It's great. I have to say, though, when I watched you the other night when we were all having dinner. Yes. And what... I d I've decided from now on, I want you to write a diet book called the Matt Bomer Diet Book. Because whatever you're eating is, we all said, we're like, that's what we should be eating. What he's eating is what we should be eating. It's working. Yeah. All right. All right, we got to take a quick break, man. When we come back, we'll find out which Oscar-winning actor Matt turned to for advice for his new project, mm -hmm. The Normal Heart. So, we'll be right back in that moment. Matt Bomer star of The Normal Heart. Now, in, in, this, in this movie, um, you play an AIDS patient during the, the beginning of the health crisis. Correct. And, um, but this is a career-changing performance oh. by you. And also a body-changing performance by you. 
Yes, it did require um, some pretty substantial weight loss. And um, so the first person I called was Matthew McConaughey. He had just finished oh, Dallas Buyers right. Club. Mm -hmm. And uh, he was incredibly kind and, and generous and helpful with some tips. And I took his advice and then kind of did my own thing, too. So Did you wind up consulting a doctor? Because oh, yeah. You're the image of you so thin was painful to watch. It was actually gut-wrenching to watch. It was, you know, it was like a once-a-week blood test type of situation. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. And they, um, they halted production for several months while you lost a lot of this weight. But how much did, did you lose? Well, I, I stopped weighing myself after 35 pounds, and we still had a ways to go because I just thought this isn't what I need to be focusing on. Right. Our amazing director, Ryan Murphy, was happy with the way I looked, and... I just thought, this is not how I want to start my day. I just want to focus on the job at hand. And then how do you, so you, you're, the shooting is over and yeah. the film is wrapped. And then what's the first thing you do? Do you go to uh, McDonald's? Eat everything. <laughs> I do. I was really foolhardy. Do you foolhardy. supersize everything? Uh, yeah. Or? Oh, yeah. Uh, um, but we finished right at Thanksgiving. And I, I think I cooked for like 14 people or something. And I was you like. You were cooking? I'm going in. <laughs> yeah. I'm from Texas where yeah. we indulge. Right, right. At Thanksgiving, right. so I, it, it came back real fast. Yeah. So you consulted a doctor to lose the weight, but to gain it back, you were like, I don't need no doctor. Yeah, I don't need exactly. No. I know what I'm doing here. I'm I got expert. my own prescription. Right. And it's called right, right. an extra helping of potatoes with gravy. Uh, yes. <laughs> I love it, man. Now, we're going to take a look at this clip. Now, you play a New York Times um, reporter, and then this thing, Mark Ruffalo's character um, has come to help you spread the word about the disease that's killing a lot of gay men. Here Correct. is Matt Bomer and the normal heart. Why does everyone gay think that I run the New York Times? I can't help you with this. Sorry to hear that. What would you suggest I do? <laughs> Take your pick. I got 23 parties, 37 new restaurants, 12 new discos. Listen, I can't get anyone here to write another article. I've talked to half a dozen reporters and the guy who worked on the first piece. So, Mr. Leather? Yeah, no. No one here will write about it, and I can't. Look, we're very compartmentalized. You wouldn't want science to write about sweaters, would you? It's a very peculiar feeling having to go out and seek support from a straight world for something gay. I wouldn't know about that. I just write about gay designers and gay discos and gay chefs and gay models and gay rock stars and gay celebrities and gay everything. I just don't call them gay. Ooh. It's The Normal Heart. It debuts Sunday, May 25th. Make sure you see Matt Bomer in The Normal Heart on HBO. Thank you for being here. When we come back, we're going to have our next top teacher finalist, so stay right there.